So, our good friend, uh, Ben Shapiro, famous husband of Dr. Wife of Ben Shapiro, has a new video. I guess Sports Illustrated had a trans uh, woman on the cover, and he's upset about it. Surprise. So let's see what he has to say. That time. Is his yarmulke getting bigger? I'm not joking, genuinely. Is his hat bigger than it used to be? It feels like that bit in Scary Movie 2 where every time you look away and look back, the hat gets bigger. When Sports Illustrated was supposed to be a sports magazine. Yeah, that was funny. Sports Illustrated, I was a, I was a long time subscriber to Sports Illustrated. Uh, I, I will acknowledge that as a religious person, I always took the option, you can do this, of calling up Sports Illustrated and not getting the swimsuit edition. <laughs> Which was, I cannot look at women in bikinis, would be untoward. You know, basically material for teenage boys. I would a Colston says, Jewish people have told me that Ben wears a comically large yarmulke. I've heard that too. I, I don't know enough to say that though, just because, I don't know. I don't know a lot about Judaism. I'm not going there. I'd always call up Sports Illustrated and, uh, and say, add an issue to the end of my subscription and just don't send the swimsuit edition. But the swimsuit edition has been a long time thing. Her name is uh, Dr. Mrs. The Monarch, please. <laughs> for Sports Illustrated, and always, basically, it was hot models and body paint on the beach. That's always what it was. Well, now, Sports Illustrated, because it has become another preserve of the woe, has decided that it is time to cram down on red-blooded American males a particular perception of female beauty, namely dudes. So, there is a, uh, there is a trans woman who has now been featured on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Okay. This is the trans woman whose name is Lena Bloom. Now, Lena Bloom has had surgeries and hormone treatment. <laughs> the funny thing to me is, I want you to show this picture to a hundred, a hundred straight men, okay? A hundred straight American men. And don't bring up anything in regard to transness at all. Don't bring it up. Don't say, do you think this woman is trans? Don't say the word trans. Show them the cover and say, what do you think of this woman? And get the response. I bet not a single one of them would be like, is that a dude? <laughs> Cause she's beautiful. You know, I don't like, I don't like talking about people's looks even in a positive way. I find it cringy, but you know, she's a model. This is, she's on the cover of Sports Illustrated. She knows she's pretty. Um, she's just like a, an attractive model. Her being trans, pretty irrelevant to whether or not someone can jerk off to this. Just putting it out there. And looks physically like a woman. Right, which she is a woman. Look at her, Ben. Ben, look at this person and tell me with a straight face that this is not a woman. Which, by the way, seems rather transphobic to me. Because if you truly, Sports Illustrated, wanted to make the case that trans women are women, then trans women shouldn't have to look like swimsuit models. They don't have to, but this is the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue? It's the issue for swimsuit models. In fact, trans women, I mean, this seems fat phobic. I think Ben is a little weirded out by this because I think he recognizes that she's like a very attractive woman and he doesn't know what to do with this. I'm not even saying he's attracted to her. I'm just saying I think he recognizes she ticks all the boxes of like traditional, you know, uh, 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 feminine beauty. And he's like, oh shit, how do I criticize this? M straight men are gonna jerk off to this. What do I do? <laughs> to me. Trans women should actually look like Laurel Hubbard. Why isn't Laurel Hubbard on the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition? You know the new I don't even know who that is. New Zealand weightlifter who's now going to be weightlifting in the Olympics. And has is this this is a swimsuit issue of Sports Illustrated, Ben? Has more to do with the bad faith arguments couldn't be any more obvious. We know Ben doesn't give a shit about like fat phobia or whatever which isn't even a phrase I really use. <laughs> it's a bad faith argument. He just can't think of like, and I'm sure he's still gonna criticize the trans stuff because he's transphobic, but 
it's interesting to me that that's not his leading argument necessarily. He's trying to make a bad faith argument implying some sort of, like, fat phobia, which doesn't even make sense in the context of what the magazine is. And that's what he leads with. Because I think on the face of it, he recognizes shit. She's attractive. What's that meme? Oh no, he's hot. It's that, but oh no, she's hot. <laughs> Sky Comet Fallen says, Ben being attracted to trans women doesn't make you gay, right? The sports, then, then Lena Bloom. I mean, why is it that, that only... Uh, Stephen J. Neptune Man says, Does Ben not realize that trans women can look however they want to? I'm guessing no. Uh, Simple Cat Girl with Bit says, I thought this was going to be another stupid trans people can't be engendered sports because advantages, but this is just gold. I know. A, a trans woman who looks like a stereotypical swimsuit model in a low-cut bikini. It's the cover of the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Yeah. <laughs> is now considered a fitting figure for the cover of Sports Illustrated. It seems very, very fat phobic, uh, very transphobic, frankly. Because no, it's not. I'm a trans woman, Ben's not. I get to make that call, as I am clearly the representative of all trans women. I am our queen, not transphobic. Blackwing Hackety says, is he Tom Hanks, member of the Church of Scient Scientology? Because I think he's acting in bad faith. I don't get the joke. Because it seems to suggest that the only trans woman who ought Oh, because he's acting in bad faith scientology. Okay, I get it. That took me a sec. Sorry. Tom Cruise. You meant Tom Cruise? That makes way more sense. That joke makes sense to me. Okay. To be treated as, as women are trans women who conform to all stereotypes regarding women. I mean, Lena Bloom, my understanding is, has had all of the surgeries to fake... All of them. Appendectomy, boom, that shit's out of there. Female body parts. But as we know, that is, to, to suggest that that is a requirement of trans women to be treated as women is violative of their... That's not what they're implying? She's had those surgeries? Again, the bad faith is hilarious. He can't directly criticize her because she's clearly hot. So he has to make this bad faith sarcastic argument. <laughs> of their norms. It is violative of decency. So truly, Sports Illustrated has not gone far enough until Sports Illustrated suggests that red-blooded American males get you- May I say something? Go for it. Okay. Hi, Ben. Um, you tell me that your wife is a doctor. I mean, he doesn't tell me personally, but he tells everyone that his wife is a doctor. She is a doctor. Did you know his wife was a doctor? Oh, she's a doctor? His wife his is a wife doctor. His wife is a doctor? Wow. So, Ben, your wife is a doctor. Tell me, how is a surgery to do a heart transplant on someone whose heart is failing um, any different than doing a surgery to um, help someone's uh, gender identity refl like, reflect their physicality? Like, their physicality Oh, I can reflect. tell you. I but no, 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 wait. Okay. Shush. Let me talk. Okay. The person getting the heart transplant, is that surgery just them faking being alive? Because, like, equating, you know, a surgery to being like, oh, you're, you're faking the physicality of being a woman. It's like, okay, so everybody that has, like, a heart transplant or a lung transplant, they're just faking being alive. Can I rebut as Ben Shapiro? Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so first of all, let me just say that gender identity is a fake concept made up by the, uh, Marxist liberal elite, okay? Um, uh, gender identity does not exist. You are a man or a woman. Secondly, uh, 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 uh all human beings have hearts. Not all human beings have, uh, uh, female genitalias, nor do they have wet-ass P-words. <laughs> well, your wife certainly does not, Ben. Okay. Um, um... Um, I will have you know so, that my wife enjoys the rug burn that I give her on our nately oh, consensuals. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, his poor wife. Um, okay, so. It, why, why does it matter even if gender identity isn't, isn't real? What, what if it wasn't real? 
What what gives you the right to tell someone what they do with their body? Wouldn't matter. It's all fucking. They just care what other people do with their bodies. Okay, it's so very what about like, what about like circumcision? People are just faking not having whatever the the foreskin. They're just faking not having foreskin. That's messing up your genitalia as well. Okay, first of all, I will have you know that the, 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 okay, uh, uh, circumcision, uh, uh, is, is a religious issue for me, so you are impeding on my, uh, uh, religious freedom by implying that there is something wrong with my cut wang. Okay, well, you're infringing upon my religious freedom that Hannah should get a vagina. <laughs> Boom! Roasted, Ben! Okay, I'll join that religion. Cool. You smell like tortilla chips. I've been eating tortilla chips. I assume so. I love you. Love you too. The idea of a trans woman who looks exactly like a man. He's just because so as we know, mad that she's sex attractive. I know, he's pissed. Like Mike Mac says, Ben's wife's P word is drier than a Popeye's biscuit. Ooh. <laughs> I think that, like, he... I think part of, like, obviously he's just being stupid right now, but part of what he's saying is, I think he actually believes, is that he would rather see a trans woman mm -hmm. on the cover of Sports Illustrated that isn't conventionally attractive oh, I'm or sure conventionally he feminine. I'm sure because, he would, because then he could point at it and yeah. go, ha, 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 yeah. look at this, what I consider to be a man. Yeah. So it's like, he, he's like, that would make it so much easier for me because I can't pretend like this woman isn't a woman. Yep. Like, you just look stupid. He looks stupid. If he refers to her, I can't remember what the swimsuit model's name is. Oh, I don't remember either. Um, but he can't refer to her as with he, him pronouns or anything like that because he literally just looks like a dumbass yep. if he does that. Stephen J. Neptune Man says, So Ben went from nothing counts, transgender people don't exist to, if you're going to be a trans person on the cover, it should be this trans person. He's arguing in bad faith. Really all in your head. Gender is really all in your head. And the person on the cover of Sports Illustrated shouldn't have to be a, a swimsuit model looking male masquerading as female. It should be a dude with twig and berries and chest hair and no fake breasts being treated. I mean, if that's your preference, Ben, that's okay. <laughs> also, like, how do you know that her breasts are fake? If she started taking yeah. hormones early enough, like... I'm guessing she did. <laughs> you, can, you can grow breasts. Like, I mean, Hannah started taking her hormones at 26? 20... Might have even five? been 25. 25. Late, late, late 25, early 26. And, like, she has really good you know, I'm, growth. I'm very happy with how they've turned out so far. So, like, not every trans person wants to or even has to get, like, breast implants. Is it TOS if I literally stood up and just, like, turned sideways? I have no idea. I mean, that one girl got, like, got uh, dinged off of Twitch because she queefed on... That's a little different, but yeah. I'm not, I won't risk it. Just know that they're, you know, hormones make you grow titties. Um, Delicious titties. Uh, Blackwing Hackty says, holds up a plucked chicken. Behold, a man. <laughs> Essentially the same as a woman. That's, that's when we know we've do. reached parody, I think. I think that's the really important but thing. I really now, look, the reason that Sports Illustrated is doing this. I know you do. <laughs> I love you too. It is for the bleeps and giggles, right? They are doing it to push forward the quote unquote social justice agenda. The idea being that if they push forward a biological man on the cover of Sports time. Illustrated as a woman. She's you? a woman. And if you say oh, no, even if that biological are, man yeah. has had many surgeries and hormone treatments to look like a woman, that is still a biological man. And if you say that, then this- Again, I don't understand his obsession with this. Ben, there's a difference between sex and gender. That woman's sex is male at birth, but her gender is a woman. She's a woman. Means that you are. This is not a hard concept. I have a question for Ben and his, his doctor's wife. Okay. His doctor's wife. His doctor's wife. <laughs> um, his doctor wife. So there is a trans woman that I follow on Instagram. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. Um, but she had uh, stereotypically uh, male genitalia when she was born. 
and started transitioning, I think, prior to being 18. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. And then, lo and behold, she found out that she actually has a blind uterus or it yeah a blind uterus so that basically just means that the uterus is there but there isn't like a pathway to it um so it to you ben is she a woman she has a uterus but she's trans and she actually got pregnant which i thought was really cool he would say she's a woman then because of the pregnancy but people like this tend to view if it, if they can get pregnant okay, it's a woman but that's how she, they tend to think of it. She also had stereotypically male genitalia. I know. I'm just telling you what I think he would think. He would think that's a chick with a dick because she can get pregnant. Okay, so then women with penises can exist. He would say I would guess something along the I'm trying to devil's advocate for this. I don't obvious I just want to be clear. I don't believe any of this, obviously. I would imagine he would just say, Well that's just a uh, 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 uh. I don't even want to say what I think he would say, because it's yeah. very rude. Yeah. I think he would say some quite derogatory things about people who are intersex. Yeah. Yeah. It's just they they see all of this as such a black and white, and it's not. It's so Far removed from being a black or white, um, you know, fucking binary, cut and dry thing. I hate it. It makes me so mad. Developmental geneticist, folks. Sky Comet Fallen says she grew a uterus? Question mark. No, she she already had one. Yeah. They just didn't know about it. Yeah. Until later. So she was. Um, uh, intersex, but didn't know it because her outward genitalia was male, so she was assigned male at birth. See what Neptune Man says, not to diss someone's personal choices, but I had to laugh about at his prudishness at the beginning. Every year I told Sports Illustrated not to send me the swimsuit issue. Yeah, that's very strange. Why like, buy like, Sports Illustrated then? I mean, it's just one issue a year. But, like, Ben, it's not like it's not mandatory that if you get that magazine, you have to masturbate to it. I don't even know who masturbates to the Sports Illustrated issue of swim, the swimsuit issue. The internet exists. Probably just boomers at this point. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, I want to be clear. She was born with a uterus, but there was no vaginal opening... So they couldn't see that, and she had outwardly male genitalia. So she never knew. She had a dick and balls, and everyone was like, you're a dude because you got a dick and balls and was raised as a guy, and then later in life figured out, oh, I'm, I'm trans because she had been socialized as a man, her gender was male, or it was perceived assigned, assigned male. male. And then she decided to transition, and then somewhere along the line discovered, oh, I'm intersex, I also have a uterus. Yeah. Okay. Are somehow transphobic, or if you, even though that is the biological truth, or that you're, you're mean and vicious. Look, Sports Illustrated's a free company, can do what it wants, right? It's a private company. But there is obviously a social attempt to normalize the idea that biological men who look like women are in fact women, which of course is a wild degradation. And those who don't look like what you would perceive as a traditional woman. Fun fact. Which what, what you were just making a fake bad faith argument about. So H. Baird says, before the internet, the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue was a way to get what was essentially softcore porn delivered to you. So boomers all have a special place in their heart for it. Oh, I know. Nation of what it actually means to be a woman. A word with an actual definition. No, we don't test babies' chromosomes when they're born. So it's pretty obvious what Sports Illustrated is doing here. Making a jack-off mag. But Sports Illustrated didn't stop there. So what one of the you? other models... And what cuddles? ...on the cover of SI Swimsuit Edition is, of course, the, the tremendous Megan the Stallion because of her tremendous history with sports. According to Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition, Megan Thee Stallion is no stranger to magazine covers, but the rapper and songwriter always dreamed of being on the cover of SI Swimsuit, which is a weird dream. 
She remembers his- Why? The young girl looking at the magazine and saying, one day, this is going to be me. A couple of decades later, the Houston native would have several Grammys under her belt and make history as the first rapper on the SI Swimsuit cover. And she is the perfect fit. Uh, amazing, amazing. <laughs> All of that just sounds like your typical Sports Illustrated like swimsuit issue, like bio shit. I don't understand. And then finally they have an athlete on the cover. So who is the athlete who's on the cover of, uh, of Sports Illustrated? The athlete on the cover of Sports Illustrated is Naomi Osaka. Now, you will recall that Naomi Osaka withdrew from one of the tennis majors after a blow up with the media in which she just wouldn't do her media hits. And the ATP, the, the Tennis Professional Association, they said, you need to do that, right? It is your job. Part of your job as a tennis player is to deal with the media because this is true in all sports. You're supposed to do the press conferences. And Naomi Osaka then went out and she claimed that she suffered from deep anxiety. Not diagnosed anxiety, just deep anxiety at dealing with the media. Okay, that can be a thing. Okay, fair enough. If you, if you suffer from, so, like, I know people, I'm very close to people who have anxiety disorders that ought to be treated with kid gloves. You have to make provision for that, obviously. Now, I mean, I sort of suggested that that's what was going on. You know what people with anxiety disorders typically don't do? People who are, who are shirking media attention. People who, who just want to stay away from the media and don't want to be involved with me. You know what they Is he going to say they don't appear on Sports Illustrated? Because it's completely different having a private photo shoot that gets published publicly and being interviewed by a room full of reporters. Those are two different things, Ben. They typically don't do. Pose for the cover of, I believe, Time Magazine has now done a cover on Naomi Osaka. Okay. That's not the same as public speaking, Ben. And also Sports Illustrated. So strange that she doesn't want to take questions from, you know, people who ask critical questions, but... Your critical questions are literally just transphobic insults worded as questions, Ben. That's not a question. That's just being a dick. If you are doing a Sports Illustrated cover or a Time Magazine cover, then all of a sudden all the hesitancy goes away. Yeah, because I imagine the photographer didn't feel the need to interrogate her over her genitals or her history or anything like that. And by the way, it's not as though Naomi Osaka was being asked, like, vicious, brutal questions. She was being asked questions about, like, her performance as a tennis player. Okay, she can still have anxiety. Says Sports Hill. Bellum Guardian says, Ben talks mad shit for someone that does nothing but whine. I know, right? Illustrated. Naomi Osaka is no doubt an athletic powerhouse at 23 shields, four Grand Slam titles, and is headed to Tokyo to compete in the Olympics. This comes after defeating former U.S. Open champion Samantha Stoser in her WTA Tour debut at just 16. It's her strength and power off the court that makes Naomi a true legend. She's raised awareness about racial injustice, human rights, and mental health, cementing her as one of the most outspoken professionals. Wait, is she not even the trans person that he's talking about? Did he completely switch topics to bitch about just an athlete that does, you know, social justice, like, work and, and bringing attention to it? Hydrate. Alrighty. Professional tennis players. Uh, he's talking about a different person now. Gotcha. Yeah, outspoken. Wow, he didn't get very much uh, content out of the trans thing, did he? Because she's hot. <laughs> Except when she won't talk to anybody who, you know, has a question. My favorite quote from her Time Magazine cover piece is she suggested, I just don't understand why anyone would disagree with me. Like, she, she, she said she was surprised that anyone would disagree with her about her very left-wing view of race in the United States. Her very left-wing view, which I assume is probably along the lines of systemic racism exists. She was named one of 2020 Sports Illustrated Sports Persons of the Year for her activism, was on Time's annual list of the 100 most influential people in the world. Finally, uh, there is the Sports Illustrated take on Lena Bloom. Okay, so here is what the, uh, the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition says, quote, Lena Bloom began her rise, remember Lena Bloom is a biological man, began <laughs> trans woman, and her rise to fame in the ballroom dance community. He has to remind you because she's hot and has since broken numerous barriers in the modeling world. She was one of the few openly transgender models to walk the runway during New York Fashion Week in 2017, and was the first transgender woman of color to appear in Vogue India. And how about acting? Yes, she's tackling that too. Lena made her acting debut in the film Port Authority, marking the first film in Cannes Film Festival history that featured a transgender woman of color in a leading role. Now, Lena makes history yet again as the first transgender cover model in Sports Illustrated Swimsuit History, and the first trans person of color to appear on our pages. More importantly, the 27-year-old uses this platform to speak about acceptance, love, and change 
She's passionate about inspiring others to love themselves and be who they want to be, unless they're a dude. Ben is sour Hollywood rejected him. Yeah, have you seen Run, Hide, Fight? <laughs> I can't wait for his Gina Carano film. I'm sure it's going to be dog shit. Dude who just wants a biological woman, in which case they're a vicious, brutal sexist. That would be, that'd be terrible. So, say the editors. Among the many things we've learned over the past 18 months is how much we value being part of a community, how much we miss that interaction when it's taken away. This issue represents the culmination of our powerful community coming together during these trying times to make history. This is what the editor says. So, uh, wonderful stuff. I'm sure that all of the 17-year-old boys who are receiving the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition will be thrilled uh, to see. 17-year-old boys don't jerk off to swimsuit issues anymore. They have the internet. And they certainly never read the bios. <laughs> a, a, a. I say this is someone who uh, 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 had Playboy magazines in the house as a kid. The photos are the photos. You don't necessarily read the bios. Mike Max says the hub is is uh, is where we go. Man who believes he is a woman and has had certain. Uh, sentient dessert says, I was reading the articles. You know, funny enough, uh, I, the, I read the Playboy magazines more for the articles and joke sections than I did for the pictures. I mean, some of the pictures were nice, and not even for, like, jerk-off material, but just, like, they're, like, nice modeling photos, like, in terms of, like, looking at the beauty of the, the, the human female figure, or whatever pompous bullshit you want to say. But no, I, I, the articles were actually pretty good in Playboy. Um... Definitely boomery, kind of backward, sexist thinking in a lot of it. But, eh. There were some interesting Q&A pieces with directors and authors and stuff. Surgeries to look like a woman on the cover of the magazine. Now, again, I don't care very much about the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Just as a cultural marker, it seems significant, right? Is it? Does anyone give a shit about the print magazine Sports Illustrated anymore? We're not going to play this gaslighting game where the left does something, they say it's highly significant. You point out that it is highly significant that we are treating a transgender woman the same way we would treat- He said trans woman, hey. An actual born woman swimsuit model on the cover of magazine. Yeah, she's hot. And then they say- Bellum Guardian says, I don't care very much, spends 20 minutes bitching about it. I hate that, I hate when they do that. How are you even noticing? Is it important to you? The Sports Illustrated cover isn't important to me. What's important to me seems like it is. Is the mandate that has come down from our cultural commissars. Our cultural commissars, which don't exist. He's literally just talking about the cultural zeitgeist, zeitgeist and then proclaiming that it's some sort of totalitarian dictatorship because society is moving in an accepting direction that he doesn't like. There is no culture czar. Collectively, everyone just decided and is deciding in mass... Fuck it, I don't care if trans people exist. Which is good! That's good, Ben! That's good. We just want to live our lives, okay? That we act as though a male who has had hormone treatments and surgeries is the full equivalent to a woman in every way, including in terms of sexual attraction. I mean, did you see your picture, Ben? Are women? I want to hook, I would like to hook Ben Shapiro up to some sort of machine that measures arousal and then force him to look at this picture and the, whatever pictures of her are on the inside of the magazine. I want to prove that we can make Ben Shapiro pop a boner to a trans woman. Okay? We can put her in a doctor outfit if that helps. including in terms of sexual attraction. That is a that is a very interesting and I think rather unsurprising. Fast Lunacy says we are the cultural czar, comrade. I guess so. Portable take in, in actual life, but it's something that the media wish to cram down. For sure, for sure. <laughs> I can't even imagine what this comment section is like. Oh, good. The same typical jokes. Gotta love it. <laughs> so that's what Ben's up to. Talking about a 
attractive model. Uh, Simple Cat Girl says, All in all, I hope that lady is living her best life. I agree. 